I'm Mark Cowley and Mr. Saltwater Tank, coming to you on behalf of saltwateraquarium.com. Just like the soft corals in the soft coral budget reef tank, the hard corals in the hard coral budget reef tank need cleaner water than the budget bill tank. And the hard corals in here need cleaner water than the soft corals in the soft coral budget reef tank. Hard corals are pickier and you're going to need to cater to their needs. Two things to note right off the bat. First, the hard coral budget reef has a more powerful light than the soft coral budget reef. That's because hard corals need a stronger light than soft corals. The light I'm using on the hard coral budget reef tank is the AI Prime. The Prime puts out plenty of light for the hard coral tank and it's easily controllable from the My AI app. Second, hard corals need more water flow than soft corals, so I've upgraded the pump to the AI Nero 5. The Nero 5 is also controllable through the My AI app. Note that there are stronger versions of the current wave pumps like the ones I used on the budget soft coral build. Therefore, if you know you want to get into the hard corals, the higher flow current wave pumps can work for a hard coral tank too. Besides stronger lighting and flow, hard corals have different water chemistry needs than soft corals. Hard corals like cleaner water, and they like water that has more of the elements in it that hard corals need to grow. Starting on the cleaner water side of things, if you're not already using RODI water in your tank, now is a great time to start. I highly recommend you start using RODI water before you place any hard corals in your tank. An RODI unit delivers very clean water to help keep contaminants out of your reef tank. I prefer to make my own RODI water with my own RODI unit. At the very least, purchase RODI water from your local fish store. Better water chemistry for the hard coral tank also means lower nutrient levels. The good news is you don't have to have much cleaner nutrient levels than you should already be maintaining in a soft coral tank. For the hard coral budget tank, keep your nitrates below 10 parts per million and your phosphates below 0.07 parts per million. Remember, you can keep your nutrients low by not overstocking your tank, feeding the high quality frozen food, and only feeding enough that your fish get two to three bites when they feed. Preview of coming attractions, you can also control phosphate levels with a meaty reactor. You don't need one yet, so hold on to your horses for now. Besides nutrient levels in the hard coral budget reef tank, you're also gonna need to pay attention to alkalinity calcium, and magnesium levels. Hard corals use alkalinity and calcium to build their hard skeletons, and if your alkalinity and calcium levels aren't in check, then those hard corals won't grow and they can even die. Now magnesium is also used in coral growth, but not as much as alkalinity and calcium. Magnesium still needs to be on your radar though. You monitor alkalinity, calcium, and magnesium levels through testing your tank's water, and here are my recommended test kits. Alkalinity, Salford Carbonate Hardness Kit. Now is a really good time to upgrade yourself to the HANA Alkalinity Checker if you haven't already done so. Calcium, Salford Calcium or NIOS Calcium Kit. I prefer the NIOS kit as the color change for when the test is complete is easier to detect. Magnesium, Salford Magnesium or the NIOS Magnesium Test Kit. I use the NIOS kit as the color change is easier to detect. Water changes are partly done to reduce nutrient levels in your tank. And another reason to do a water change is to increase levels of elements in your tank's water. On the hard coral budget reef tank, when alkalinity or calcium or magnesium get below the range that I'll lay out in a minute, you're going to want to do a water change to boost up those levels. There's a catch though. You don't want to do a water change with any salt, you want to do a water change with a salt that's formulated for a reef tank. Reef tank salts have higher levels of alkalinity and other elements that your corals need to grow. And if you follow my advice from the budget build series to use the Fritz RPM salt, then you've been using a reef tank salt this whole time. I've been setting you up for reef tank success since day one. Okay, so when do you need to do a water change for the hard coral budget reef tank? The answer is when your tank tells you to, which you'll know when your water parameters are outside these values. Nitrates at or above 10 parts per million. Phosphates above 0.07 parts per million. Calcium below 400 parts per million. Magnesium below 1200 parts per million. Alkalinity below 8 dKH. A 25% water change would gently bring your water parameters back in check. Since hard corals are more sensitive than soft corals, do no bigger than a 25% water change. Any bigger than a 25% water change and your water parameters can change drastically, which can harm the hard corals in the tank. While hard corals are pickier than soft corals, don't be scared off by them. Once you're used to keeping hard corals and you keep your tank's water chemistry in the parameters where hard corals are happy, those hard corals are going to reward you with all the colors of the rainbow and some wild growth patterns. Even me, after all these years of keeping hard corals, I'm still amazed and amused by them. 
I'm Mark Callie, Mr. Saltwater Tank, coming to you on behalf of saltwateraquarium.com. I'll catch you in the next episode.